Now, I am sure that there are other people who have already done videos on this. I haven't done much research since the game pretty much first launched in NAEU, but I wanted to make a quick video on pretty much how to get the Astray ship. The reason being, when I watched videos, in the beginning, everyone was just saying, oh, do this, do this. No one had it because it does take a while. I finally have mine, and I can tell you all the steps you need to take because there were some things I wish I would have known earlier that I could have knocked out, but instead, it prolonged me getting the ship by about a month. Now, the first two big things you have to do in order to get the Astray, you have to complete two reputations. Now, if you go Alt-J, I believe is the hotkey for it, you can open up your Eunice tasks, you go over to the reputation status, and these are all of your daily tasks. When you complete a daily task a certain amount of times, you get these little rewards. You get 10 points per day. So this is one of the quests that you have to complete. She drifts sea gifts. You have to complete it 25 times. As you can see, five times for level one, you get 12,000 pirate coins. Another eight times after that for 19,000 pirate coins. And another 12 times after that for 30k pirate coins. And then you get the Astray construction blueprint. That is one of the things you need in order to get the Astray ship. So as you can see right here, the quest is available for my dailies. And what you actually have to do, because they didn't really talk about this in the videos that I watched. Up here, you have your daily events. And you'll see on some days, they have these co-op sailing events. Where you'll go to a certain area. I know in like the tier 3 ones, you have to like defeat some jellyfish. Or it'll be really simple stuff where you can use like your treasure salvaging. There's different events that you can do. And you have to do that in order to complete the daily quest. However, as you can see, there's none like today, for example. So what most people did and what I did is I completed it one time. And then after you complete a daily quest one time. You're allowed to just click finish now. Now, obviously, I've already done my three dailies, but you can use the insta complete t uh, tickets that they've given us through the Grand Prix event. Sometimes we get them through the login event. Right, these things right here, the instant completion passes. You can use these, you can buy them from the shop, or you could just use 25 crystals. So you need to complete this quest, She Drifts, He Gifts, 25 times. Now, there is another reputation you need to finish. And the other one is right here, Pest Control. This one is not as long, it's not 25 days. I have 40 of them completed, but that's because the quest gives leap stones. So sometimes I'll do it because it's a pretty easy quest. So three days at first for your pirate coins, then another four days, so that's seven, and then eight days after that. So in total, you only need 15 days to finish it, and then you'll get the certificate of pirate. So you need the pirate ship astray, like the astray construction blueprint and the certificate of pirate. If you ever lose where they are, you can just look up the item. Astray construction blueprint, click search, and it'll come up. And same thing for certificate of pirate. And you can just look them up. It'll show you where the quest is. And then you can accept the quest from here as well. Now for this quest, all you have to do is go to Blackfang's Den. It's directly east of Lutera. And on this island, there's like a little event quest that shows up every 15 minutes. It's like a little public event. It'll be right around here in this bottom right corner. There's usually people waiting for it. And every 15 minutes means it usually happens at 30 45 top of the hour and 15 so 15 30 45 every 15 minutes based on the hour and you just have to defeat some really low level enemies a lot of people join groups kill them real quick and then you'll talk to someone inside of the house with black fang talk to the little girl and you'll complete the quest that way now after you've done those two reputation things this should be like the last part that you focus on because it's pretty expensive and you can definitely use your resources for other things prior to this. The Astray ship isn't that important. But if you're at that point, you want to get it. 300,000 pirate coins. And you can buy from her. I guess because I've already brought it. It's not here anymore. I don't see it. But she sells a quest, basically. She gives you this item. And you interact with it. And it gives you a quest. And the quest, you know, in the videos that I watched, I was bothered by this. They just said, okay, it's an easy quest. Go complete it. I was like, bet. The quest tells you to go talk to Black Fang. And you're like, hey, Black Fang, I would like to make the Astray. And she's like, haha, so funny. You're trash. You're not making that. You need to get her to trusted. You need to max out Black Fang's rapport in order to finish the quest. So that's a very important thing that none of the videos seem to be bringing up. Here's the public event, by the way. It's at it's 2.30 in the morning right now, so perfect timing. But 
You can level up her rapport by using your instruments, by using your emotes, or by giving her gifts. If you're still relatively new to the game, you've probably gotten a lot of rapport items from the tower, from the welcome challenges, and from daily logins, anything, there's lots of things, or the wandering merchants where you can get legendary rapport items to upgrade Blackfang. However, some of you guys, probably like me, have upgraded people like Thyrain or Azina, people that give Light of Salvation cards, Giant's Hearts, Calvasis, prior to this. So start working on this as soon as you can if you are interested in getting the Astray ship. After you get her to trust it, after you max out her rapport, you will get her as a crew member and you will get the Black Fangs Den Island Soul. On top of that, you will also finish the quest and she will give you an item. Now, at this point, you should have the Astray Construction Blueprint from the Reputation Status, the Certificate of Pirate from the Reputation Status, and the Legendary Item that Blackfang gave you. Next, you talk to this dude, Belrod. And as you can see, these are the three items, right? This one from the Reputation, Reputation, and then this is for the 300,000 Pirate Coin, you know, Blackfang quest. And then all you need is Timber, which you can get from Cutting Down Trees, and Uncommon Ship Materials, which you could buy or make them in your stronghold timber you can also buy it's not that expensive it's sold per 100 units so 22 gold for 100 units of it most people have probably heard through streams or other youtube videos that the astray i mean even to my knowledge i'm not even the most knowledgeable but i've heard that the astray is the fastest ship which is why or like the best ship which is why a lot of people want to get it this is what it looks like if you want to get like a little bit of con a comparison my Stoke is level five and with my current crew members, I didn't really invest too much into it. I've got 26.3 knots base sailing speed and then nine knots for fast sailing speed. And my duration is five seconds. My Astray, I get 28.6, 10.9 and seven second duration. Also my fast sailing recovery increases by seven. And this is only level four. It's not even a level five ship yet. So it'll go up another 1.3 knots when I upgrade it to level five. Now, something else to keep in mind that is probably not going to be mentioned too much. A lot of the times they'll give us these little ship enhancement selection chests, which will help you upgrade, or we get these blueprint selection chests. Now, I didn't realize that we don't get a stray or Iburn's wound from this. Iburn's wound is another ship that you can use for ghost ships. But the only way, to my knowledge, to get a stray blueprints is from these ships that sit outside of ports. They cost Genus coins. So one a stray blueprint is 25 Genus coins. That's how I was able to level up my ship this much. And I still need another 30 blueprints. That's a lot of Genus coins to be leveling it up. Now, if we are going to be getting another week of the Grand Prix event, then this can help people if they want to upgrade their strays. But a lot of people are using pirate coins for things like enhancement materials, including myself. I've been doing that a lot. Basic timber you can also get in your stronghold or from these ships as well. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the other ship. The basic timber, but that's 250 pirate coins for one. But if you are working on upgrading your ship, you don't want to use your pirate coins for anything else then that is where you get it. It's a pretty cool looking ship. It's much faster. It feels so much smoother out at sea. Towards the end game, you're starting to sail a bit less, but if you're going from island to island, if you're collecting island souls, if you're trying to get Makokos, or if you're doing any of that side content with collectibles, it's gonna be very helpful being able to travel in between islands as quickly as possible. This wasn't the first Astray how-to video, but I did wanna do a video personally because I know a lot of the videos when I first started playing the game didn't show you everything. They didn't tell you that you needed to max out rapport with Black Fang and they didn't tell you everything, all the little details. And I probably missed some too, but hopefully I gave a bit more clarity on the topic of the Astray. But anyways, it's been your boy Haiga. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys later.